Hi guys, this is Pradeep. Sometimes in interview, you may get some tricky questions. So you need to be alert or you need to be very attentive for those questions. Uh, one example, like if you are getting a question, if when we do the cost run, what will the accounting entries? So the co co question is related to cost calculation, particularly from the product costing. So let me repeat the question once again. If we are going to do the cost run, then what will be the accounting question? Just think what will be the accounting question? Now in this case, there is no accounting entries. So when we run the costing, so it is not generating any accounting entries. It is just updated the material cost which is being costed. Okay, so to understand this one, let's go to the SAP screen. Now you can see in the screen, uh, there is one cost is calculated for a particular product and uh, this material master we will analyze. So this is my material master and here we got some cost and this is the bifurcation of cost. So question is, if you are going to do the cost calculation, what will be the accounting entries? So answer is, there is no accounting entries because this cost we need to transfer to the material master after completing the marking and release procedure. So when you are going to complete the release process, then after that, this cost is going to update in the material master, particularly in the costing to view in the current tab. So let's check that. So now I will go to the material master and this material master is 57. So I will go to MM03 and directly I will go to the costing two tab, the costing two tab and here you can see, okay, the plant is Z009 and what was my cost cal was calculated 38161 and the same price it is transferred to my material master and it is updated to current tab. So when we will do the transaction now, if you are going to do let's say outbound delivery or any transactions in there if you are going to use this material master then this price is going to be updated in the transaction because but because of cost calculation there is no accounting entries are there so uh, the answer related to the question i already explained so there is no accounting entry let me further explain on this but there are there will be some accounting entries it will be there uh, not related to the cost calculation if you are going for further activities let's say the counter question is let's say we have created one production order and with reference to that production order let's say we have calculated the preliminary cost and what is the accounting entries with that again answer is no accounting entries so with reference to product cost calculation there is no, particularly when we are talking about preliminary cost, the last one I was showing the standard cost. Now I will show you one production order and I will show you the preliminary cost. So we will, it is completed, but we will focus on the preliminary cost. And with reference to pre preliminary cost, there is no accounting entries. Only just you will get the information for the cost calculation point of view or that is related to preliminary cost. So let me go to the one production order. So let's take the first one, right? So this is the production order. The last one is 80, one four times zero, eight zero. And uh, the confirmation date is, just remember this confirmation date, this is 22nd July, 2023. And when we will calculate the preliminary cost, so if we'll check the first column, which is calculated with preliminary cost, this one, and uh, here, the whatever the outcome is there like here all the activities are completed but let's say just we have completed this one that means production order or preliminary cost is calculated with reference to production order so with reference to that preliminary cost there is no accounting entries so again first we we have seen that when we have calculated the cost that time was also there is no accounting entries and if with reference to production order means if we, with reference to the cost object production order with reference to that also, there is no accounting entries. If, next questions, if we are going to continue further, that means, let's say commercial production started, operation started, whether th there is any accounting entries are there or not. Yes, now we have the accounting entries are there. Now, if you are going to confirm that particular production order, then in that case, you will get the accounting entries and that we will see. So what was the confirmation date? That time I have shown to you, the confirmation was 22nd July, let me show you once again. So confirmation date is 22nd July, this one. Now, uh, let me check the accounting documents is if there is any accounting documents are there or not with reference to 22nd July because it's confirmed. So 
if accounting entries are there then we will see what are the accounting entries are there and particularly we will check the reference as this particular production order with reference to this production order so when you are going to confirm the production order you are going to have the accounting entries so those that document will be your FIMM integration because you are going to consume some material related cost some activity need to be confirmed so that also will be there so that means you will get one document as your FIMM related integration document you will get the CO document and as it is S4 you will get some reconciliation document and that is your purely finance document those are known as your reconciliation document in ECC you won't get it and what will be the source document the source document in this case the reference document will be your production order confirmation document and everything will be part of AC docket table so let's check that so now I'm going to check the documents related to my confirmation date and the confirmation date is 22nd July so let's check that so let me open one window and I will go to the document display FB03 simply I will check the date the processing date and that one is 22nd July correct now execute so there are so many documents are there but particularly I'm looking all the documents related to that particular production order so let me check the document one document randomly here but I want to confirm that all the documents everything related to that production order and what was the production order the production order number was this one so let's check this better I will come check the complete information here Right, so there are so many documents I can see. First, let me confirm it is related to that particular production order or not. Yes, it is related to that particular production order because I can see the production order. Then I can see the production order confirmation number. So one confirmation is 201, second confirmation is 202, and third confirmation is 203. So why there are three confirmations? Because in this particular production order, I have created three operations and because if you'll go to the production order and if you'll check your components so there you will find that three operations are there uh, sorry uh, if you'll go to the operations so here you can see three operations are there so that is why three confirmations are there let's go back to the uh, documents so here if you'll check the accounting document document number so what is the answer to this question if you are going to confirm the production order yes accounting document will be there so what are the documents will be there so one document you will find when you are going to confirm the production order and obviously we are going to issue the materials against the production order so this logistic document will be there so this this document this one so uh, sorry not this one this this one okay so this this one F starting with four nine so the document will be there so basically here we are going to consume our all type of inventories whatever it is there in your operation or whatever it is there in your bill of material so if i will open it so you will find that it is nothing but the production order confirmation and your all type of materials are issued okay so different materials are there and if you check your account assignment it is the same production order and because of this one we got some accounting documents there so this is your FIMM document, integration documents, which you will find that your consumption account or your P&L account debited and credit is your balanced account. So this is nothing but your FIMM integration. Just verify the production order is same. Then coming to our operation or activity related cost. So here you can see some CO documents are there, internal CO documents are there. So this is the documents generated when we confirm the production order or it is your activity allocations from your cost object to another cost object now check here so here these are the uh, cost calculated so these are my values and these are my quantities so it is integration between CO and PP and it is there and with reference to this document how we got this document with reference to 201 so 201 is my confirmation document and we got the CO document and this CO document also generated one finance document because in we know that in S4 we are going to have the reconciliation document and I can see the document number 7003 is there which is nothing but your reconciliation document 
right? So this is my reconciliation document, which is document type your CO. So how we got it? When we confirm the production order. So that's why we got these documents. So all these documents are related to those only. So I got one CO document and its corresponding re uh, reconciliation document 703. Then another one, my CO document, corresponding reconciliation CO and reconciliation. So this is how it is designed. So yes, when we are going to confirm the production order, accounting entries will be there. Is there any more accounting entries will be there in the entire process? So when you are going to have the production receipt, that time also you will have the accounting entries that is related to your FG stock debit and your change in stock credit, that time will be there. Whenever there will be any WIP calculation, if WIP calculation will be there, so in that case also accounting entries will be there. So here also WIP is calculated, I can see the total quantity is 5 and uh, delivered is 4. So let's check this one, WIP status and uh, with reference to that we will see the accounting entries because with reference to WAP also accounting entries will be there. Not only this, I'm particularly focusing on the cost calculation point of view, but when we'll go for revaluation, that time accounting entries will be there. Overhead accounting entries will be there. When you will do the all type of cost allocation, accounting entries will be there. But I'm just answering that tricky question at what stage you will find the accounting entries. So let's take it. So here I want to see the WIP. Now you can see here in my cost calculation, I can see some outcome is there, which is my WIP. Now these values which are I calculated internally in controlling. So in CO, I have calculated this cost, primary cost, secondary cost and settled cost. Now this value should be there in your FI. So when you will get this one and it is your month and activities. Now this one is related to July. So on 31st July, the accounting entry should be there or your WIP if it is evaluated then that time it will be there. So now I am going to check a document that is related to 31st July and we should get this value. It is 31st July. And here all dates are there but I know it's not related to assets so it is maybe related to depreciation so ignore. Uh, directly let's check this document whether it is the same or not. So yes, so it is the same only. So here you can see the WIP, what is the WIP value? 26,090961 and uh, here also same balance with account. So this one is with reference to same production order, the WIP value is calculated. So here it is calculated in CO and here we got the accounting entries. So be alert when you are getting this type of tricky questions. It is just one question like this. If you are getting any tricky questions, don't, don't jump into the answer immediately. First, listen the question carefully, analyze it. If it is any, then accordingly you can answer it. So if you have this type of any questions you have uh, get, uh, like you have experience, let me know, I will answer that. Thank you.